It is your time. It is your moment. Go take it. Gary Anderson might have finished off his era at Wisconsin with a crashing thud in the Big Ten Championship debacle against Ohio State, but he proved once again that he could put together a terrific defense while getting the running game going at the highest of levels. But here's the deal with the 2015 Oregon State Beavers. His first task at Oregon State will be to replace quarterback Sean Mannion, but he inherits a great-looking offensive line with all five starters back to pave the way for running back Storm Woods. The defense, though, it's another story, losing nine of the top 11 tacklers. But Anderson has been handed more difficult tasks before. His teams are always sound and solid, but these Beavers might not be spectacular. So why the big drop-off overall last season? The offense converted just 32% of its third down chances, putting way too much pressure on the defense. The 2013 high-powered attack, though, converted over 40% of the time. However, consistency just hasn't exactly been a part of Oregon State football life over the last few seasons. Going on the road for three games in four midseason weeks will be a big problem. Coming back with a home game against UCLA is not going to help. Anderson, though, is good enough to get more out of the defense, even if it's inexperienced. The Beavers should be a victory better than last year, but expect five wins with a rough late stretch. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 Oregon State Beavers, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.